Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Quick disclaimer, just want to let you all know that since YouTube is censoring content on their platform, if you want to see these videos, please do subscribe and hit that bell as it is the only way to receive videos in your feed. Now let us begin with something that I feel like people don't really like to talk about anymore, but uh, I wanted to give my say in this as this is perfect for an episode of Wake Up People. This is a very edgy topic in today's so crappity, which is society. I'm just using it as a joke. Should adults be be allowed to discipline children in regards to physical and verbal means? Now, it's very personal and I can correlate to both sides and I'll explain my point of view. But it'll get a bit heavy, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up right now. To start off, discipline is a natural part of learning, and it doesn't stop at childhood. It continues throughout all of our lives, and it helps us. It helps teach us the consequences of our actions. Even animals can be seen correcting their young, so this has been going on since time immemorial. Now, to speak on behalf of the state, yes, when not disciplined properly, abuse can form in homes. Some parents can take things too far with discipline and lead to awful effects on the child's mental and emotional health. However, the issue occurs when the state begins to overstep its boundaries, when they are giving children, which can easily be, be manipulated, more credibility than adults. We can see the outcome of this in our time as younger adolescents continue to get more and more chaotic as they don't have to be held accountable when all they have to say is that their guardian hurt them, leading to that individual getting investigated and even locked up for not doing anything outside of verbal correction. Transitioning over to the guardian's point of view, it's a bit of a different story. As far as the guardian is concerned, they don't discipline out of pleasure, but out of love. It is said, he that spareth the rod hateth his son, but he that loves him chasten him at times. The rod in this case being discipline and correction. Whether physical or verbal, as I previously stated, it's a natural part of learning. All we have to do is look back a few years when people were more well-mannered and it's because of the childhoods they were brought up in. Due to the previous years being so drastically different in regards to respect and morality, due to them being held at a very high standard, Naturally, due to culture, people more often than not complied, which resulted in far less anarchy than we see in our day and time, which is saying a lot, seeing as that time span was quite short. Now, as far as parents are concerned, it's not the government's business how they raise their children, and it, nor should it be, as when the government gets involved, it usually teaches that the government is always right and leaves a lot of people feeling brainwashed, which is what you get when you like look at a a uh, government like China, where it's like you're not really allowed to speak out against them, or you can lose your livelihood. Now, I'll give my final say with this, and warning, I won't get too deep into the details, but you need to really at least hear me out. I, I was someone who was abused for not no for most, excuse me if not all of my childhood and some of my child and some of my adulthood excuse me once again i was also corrected when i did something that i shouldn't have so as one from experience there are huge huge differences between abuse and correction and i once again as someone who has experienced it firsthand can distinctly tell now people of today for the most part think kids are fine and if the parents can't respect that, then they should be taken away. However, most of these same people are treating their kids like friends instead of taking responsibility as parents. And when you look at some of these people, they're usually like really raising their kids in a very questionable manner, yet they'll hide behind that, oh, you can't tell me how to raise my kid, but they're very quick to hop on you like, oh, your kid should be taken away because I don't agree with how you're raising them, so... There's a bit of hypocrisy in that. And by looking at the current state of Socrates, once again, that's playing on words for society, I've come to my conclusion, which is this. Once again, 
as someone who has seen firsthand abuse and discipline, I know that there is a huge difference. A lot of people like to just throw down, oh, uh, you're abusing your child just because, you know, you've just firmly smacked them and said, hey, don't do that. They'll consider that abuse, which there's, once again, a huge, huge difference, and it's not that hard to tell. But I can understand, once again, what, where they're coming from because, you know, you don't want to see the child in pain. You want to protect the child, but sometimes that that physical discipline is the most important thing that you can do. So getting down to this, I've come to this conclusion and this opinion. When parents could safely discipline their children, the adults produced were far more well-mannered and respectful. Looking at today's group of youth, I don't think anyone, not a single person, whatever spectrum of ethics or politics or whatever the crap that you're on, can disagree with how out of control and chaotic people of today have become, which has resulted in all that we see today. You know, like, it doesn't take much. I mean, we've got people literally throwing acid on each other and, like, ruining their livelihoods because they don't agree with their opinion and whatnot. So, I don't know anyone who can disagree and say that, you know, the current state of societal culture has gotten better. Because if you look back, it sure as heck looks like it gotten like it's gotten worse. Which resulted in all of this because of how non-appropriate, in my eyes, kids have kids are being raised. So in my final opinion, yes, adults should be able to discipline their children however they feel appropriate. Whether it's verbal with just, you know, hey, don't do that. Or labor, like you start doing chores because you did this. Or physical, which is, you know, a couple smacks on the bum or a bit of paddle on the hand or something. Something. Now, before anyone, once again, goes crazy, keep in mind, I know what I'm talking about. I'm someone who was abused. There is a huge, huge difference between abuse and correction. And in my eyes, that correction, that discipline, not the abuse... But the discipline is one of the few things that kept me from pursuing trouble like a lot of the other kids were. When I would talk to some people in my school about how they viewed their parents, they would use the term, oh, that's my old girl, and stuff like that. Meaning that they didn't see her as their mother or anything. They just said, oh, yeah, that's my old girl. Like, you know, that that's, it, it does mean mother, but they don't, there's not a level of respect, you know, like, that you would have for your mom at that time. And they would make all these jokes about how, like, if your mom was in trouble, what would you do and stuff. And more often than not, like, there it was just met with, like, a, you know, a brush off, like, whatever. So, that's telling me how the mom is raising them and how it's more look in their eyes it's more of like friendship than parent and child so i know what i'm talking about as i've experienced firsthand abuse and correction so i know i know the state however for anyone thinking that i'm out of control or anything yes they should be able to intervene at times but it should only be limited to when the child is actually being abused. Not corrected. Not corrected. Because let me tell you something about the state. That same state telling you that you should not be allowed to discipline your child. And yes, I, I don't... I'm just going to say this. I don't have kids or anything. So so, so some kids, like just hearing me out, yet some young people are probably like, I don't know who, how the heck he's speaking for these people. He's betrayed us or anything, so... That, that's pretty funny. But that same state for everyone, whether you're a parent or just a young adult, they've got no qualms about disciplining you. You better believe that right now. You break a law, you better believe that you will be beaten with police bats and you will be tasered or even outright 
you know, shot at. So don't you get it twisted in thinking that this state is like, oh, don't worry, baby, we, we've got you, we'll protect you, we'll protect you from the mean parents. This same state, you better believe it, this same state will discipline you if they have to in a heartbeat. So don't think that you're being protected by them at all. You're just being protected from certain things that they want to brainwash on you. But if you go against them, you better believe that you're going to get disciplined as well. So with that being said, that is going to leave my argument where it is. I would love to hear what your opinion is on this very touchy topic in today's world down in the comments. And I can already I can already imagine if if I had a bigger channel, oh man, the level of like outrage from what I've just said would be delicious. But for the people who are here, please do tell me what are your opinions in the comments below. I'd love to know. As always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you'd like to see in the future in the comments below. Feel free to check out Amino Apps. It is linked in the comments. And I will see all of you in the next one. Take care and wake up.